time and your money to be here tonight. Uh, I just want to introduce my family before I speak. My husband Jason is the one that gave the prayer. And I have my three boys over here in the corner. Brayden, Jacob, and Micah. You guys can just wave. A sign at Mike Hanna for state rep summit. So if that's not a sign that here is your time to office is out, <laughs> I'm not sure what is. But what I want to do tonight is remind you of who we are in the 76th district and what I see when I get to meet more and more of you every day. Because I've knocked on about 6,000 doors. <laughs> the first thing I see, God fearing. We're God fearing, God loving people. No one is offended here when I knock on their door and I mention Jesus and God. In fact, most of you tell me stories about when you were in school that, that you would say the Lord's Prayer, that you would recite a Bible verse, and the Pledge of Allegiance. Now, we can hardly pledge, much, much less uh, say a Bible verse in school. Many of you guys have prayed for me or told me that you'd be praying for me at a door. When and if people ask me if I can leave God out of all of this, my answer is simple. Isn't that why we are in the mess that we are in the first place? We've left God out. We have plenty of conventional politicians leaving God out and doing a darn good job at it. But for me, I will follow the lead of the founding fathers and invoke God rather than leave them off. Hardworking. We are the hardest working district I have ever seen, and I've been so excited to tell this one. And we have the best gosh darn homemade ice cream I've ever had in my whole life. <laughs> Made by Sharon Crack at every event. I went to the Porter Townsend anniversary, and it was so good. She gave me something to take home to my kids, who are all on devices right now. <laughs> and uh, I ended up eating all of the ice cream on the way home, so they didn't even get any of it. We have Jim Harbaugh, salt of the earth. I had the pleasure of uh, spending the whole day with him at his dairy farm. I don't want to get choked up. To see the hard work that goes into the daily life of a dairy farmer. Day in and day out. The sacrifices they make. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. My son went with me that day and he got to see a calf be born. Something he'll probably never forget. And I got to talk to his wife, Lisa, who wakes up at 3.30 every morning to feed the baby calves. An ungodly hour, I told her. I said, God bless you. And then there's Mr. Foster. Probably a month ago. He hurt his leg really bad, and he could hardly walk. In fact, he would tell my husband, help me get up, Chase, he'd say. And uh, <coughs> I would call him every day to check in on him, because Kay was gone. And he, I said, where are you, Tom? He said, I'm out working. Where do you think I would be? <laughs> you cannot get Tom to stop working. So whether it's the farmers in this district, professors, teachers, restaurant owners, small business owners, police officers, volunteer firefighters, or many more in this community that work hard every day. I have come to care about each and every one of you guys along this journey. Next, I love this one. We cling tight to our guns. The Second Amendment. And rightfully so. We are one Supreme Court justice away from losing that right. And I have no doubt that every single one of you guys in here would link arms with me and say that they would have to cry them out of our cold, dead hands before we would give that right up. I had a man who was pulling out of his driveway in Center County, and he said, what's your business here? He was wondering what in the world I'm doing at his house. And I said, listen, I'm just running for office. I'm running for state representative. Here's my palm card. I love God, I love guns, and I love this country. He said, you got my vote. <laughs> <laughs> and that was all it took, and that's the 76th district at its best. But loving, we still love our neighbor as ourselves here. I've talked to many elderly people along this journey who, said, who say, don't worry about me. My neighbor looks in on me. They get me groceries once a week. So we still take care of our neighbors. And family life is huge here. We have the daughter of family. A staple in the community. Where are you guys? There they are. A staple in this community for over 65 years with a huge family legacy. They just had their open house event, and it was a testament to that family heritage in the 76th district. I still sometimes can't figure out who goes with who in the daughter of family, but I think I'm getting it. And uh, they're an amazing family. 
Family sticks together in the good and the bad here. My grandfather grew up in a small town and he always wanted to have all of us live on the same street. Me, because that's what he grew up with. You know, he grew up with his aunts and his uncles and his grandparents all on the road, same road, and many of you guys have that here, and it's special. And last, we love our country. There is pride here in still being an American and what that means to be an American. We fly our flags high and we believe in the Constitution and we need more of that in this country. There was another man's door I knocked on in Porter Township and he said, he was talking to his dad who was 90 years old and he said, Dad, if Hillary wins, I'm gonna leave the country. Which really is sad to say. He didn't know, or he did know, but his dad fought in the Battle of the Bolt in World War II. He said, son, if you go, he said, you go ahead and go, but he said, you go, don't ever come back because you don't deserve to live here. That's patriotism. That's love for country. Society is pushing us to things that we never thought possible, but there are still millions of great Americans just like us in the 76th district who believe in all the things that we still stand for here. Now is a time for choosing in this country. I truly believe that. As William Penn said, we'll either be governed by God or we're going to be ruled by tyrants. And I believe it can start with us in the 76th district. Isn't this where it all began in the first place? The tie out now, where brave men wrote their own declaration of independence and, and declared that in the frontier, we would be free. It might be time to make that stand again. Mike is scared, and rightfully so. You do not get to be the minority whip and stand neck and neck with the most liberal governor in the country and get to represent this district. You do not get you do not get to be a delegate for Hillary Clinton and get to represent the 76th district. And you do not get to push the agenda of liberal policies to the people of the 76th district under the disguise of a conservative good old boy and get to represent this district any longer. It cannot, it will not work any longer. But at the end of the day, this is about so much more than a hand of me. There's so much more at stake in our country than that. Let me renew your hope tonight in who we are. Thank you for joining hands with me. I need you. There is strength in numbers. And I believe what we do here will resonate statewide and could possibly resonate countrywide. So let's stand together and send a clear message to my Hannah the state of Pennsylvania, and America, that freedom belongs to us. Thank you guys for coming.